Hello class. So I got a message in my inbox asking what to do if your magnifying tool is reversed. So in other words, by default, if you zoom in with the magnifying tool by selecting the magnifying tool and just clicking on the screen, uh, the default behavior is to zoom in. To zoom out, you hold down the Alt key and you get the little magnify minus and you zoom out. And that's about all that there is to it. But what happens if the behavior is the other way around? Well, what can happen is that uh, something's been touched in the options. So if you select the magnifying tool, the options toolbar will show the options for that tool. And if you press the Alt key and hold it down, you'll see that the magnifier switches from magnify zoom in to zoom out. That's option key on the Macintosh. But if you click it, it stays on zoom out. If you hold down the Alt key, now it will flip back to the opposite, in this case, zoom in. So all you have to do is click on the magnifying tool and that will do it. Now that said, sometimes uh, you'll hear people say reset the options. So if you go and right click on the tools icon, you have the option to reset the tool or reset all tools. Now be careful with reset all tools, all of your tools will reset the default to the default. Now watch what happens though if I'm on minus and I right click and I reset this tool. Nothing. So what's it talking about? It's not talking about necessarily this first batch of behaviors, but the options inside of it. Right now I have Scrubby Zoom, which allows me to drag in and out. If I turn off Scrubby Zoom, I can't drag in and out. It just doesn't work that way. So if I right click on the icon for the magnifying tool and reset the tool, Scrubby Zoom now is back to the default. That's all that's changing. So uh, you'll need to manually set this to how you want it. That said, uh, the other option is to do a preference clear, and I'll show you that in a moment because I need to um, close Photoshop and reopen it to do that. But before I do, let me show you one other thing. This problem can occur pretty much everywhere on any tool. So keep track of your options here. On the marquee tools, I'll just pick the elliptical, you have four default behaviors. You can have a new selection by clicking and dragging. Alt key will subtract from that selection. Yeah. Shift key will add to that selection. Right? And deselect by just by clicking. And if you have a selection and you hold down Alt and Shift, you'll go to intersect. And so only where they both carve over each other do you get a selection. And so you can build some fun stuff with that doing a few intersects kind of looks like a weird TV monitor, for example. Uh, so if you were to click on one of these though, now we'll add to the selection every time I move. And by one of these, I mean one of the options up here. So now I'm not holding down any keys and we'll just keep adding forever. I can still subtract, but I cannot, and I can intersect as well if I so choose, but I can't just start a new selection. So what I'd have to do is come back up to the options and choose the new selection as the default behavior. Now you can do this for anything and they're very useful if you have a hand injury. Uh, you don't have to hold down all the keys. You can just come up and click on the one you want and then it will lock in place. So that's very useful as well. Keep in mind though, yet again, if I were to right click on this and reset the tool, uh, oh, look at that. So in this case, this particular tool will allow you to reset. So this may actually be an issue with certain versions of Photoshop. Uh, to my recollection, it doesn't reset these, but apparently I'm wrong. So, hmm, I wish I had better news for you, but it looks like you'll have to experiment on the specific version of Photoshop that you're using and the specific tool. All right, well, that's some upsetting news in the middle of a video, kind of a strange turnaround. The other option you have is to clear out all of the options for Photoshop, and that includes um, all the settings on the tools, all of your general settings that you've carefully set up uh, under your edit preferences, all of these will reset as well, the layouts that you have for everything, the colors that you've selected for everything, all of your saved swatches and brushes, all those will go away. It's like a clean version of Photoshop. So only use this if you're desperate because otherwise you have to reset everything. And make sure you've saved your brushes and patterns and stuff somewhere so that it doesn't just disappear into the aether never to be seen again. But what you would do is, uh, let's see if I can do this. 
All right, I've flipped my taskbar so you can see the uh, items up here. Normally this is off screen and out of sight. You'll need to, if you're on Windows 10 and I believe Windows 8, you'll need to lock Photoshop or pin Photoshop onto your bar. You do that by opening your program, then right clicking on it and telling it pin from to uh, pin to taskbar. I already have it pinned, so I only have the option of unpinning it, but that's how you pin it. Once you've pinned it, close Photoshop, hold down Alt, Control, and Shift, all three keys at the same time, and click on it to open it. This will bring up a dialogue with the administrative request to alter something. And what it's altering, hopefully you could hear that, it will bring up the administrative request asking you if you want to alter something. And what you uh, are altering is the preference file of Photoshop. It's actually throwing it away. Now, if you're on a Macintosh, just make sure that it's uh, in your dock, your uh, Photoshop icon, and then hold down Command, Alt, and Shift, and that will let you clear it out. Again, this will delete all of your stored patterns and brushes and swatches and anything else you've come up with, so make sure you've backed those up before you clear all that out. And that will let you get out of a lot of bad situations, like if a coworker worked on Photoshop for a day and everything's messed up, might as well just reset it and then spend 5-10 minutes putting your entire workspace back to normal. Hopefully this helped. If you have any questions, let me know and I'll be happy to answer them. See you later.